Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm just gonna show you how I can mandarin oranges. These are store-bought cutie little mandarin oranges. It's a super easy water bath recipe. Let me show you how to do it. All you need for this recipe is 10 pounds of mandarin oranges, which I bought two five pound bags from my bulk store. You need some sugar and water. That's it, other than your jars and your canner. <laughs> but that's it, let's go. Now my stove takes a long time to get this large quantity of water boiling. So my first step was to get this thing filled and get it onto the stove. I put it right on medium high heat right from the get go before I peeled any oranges or made any syrup or any sort. That way it was nice and hot and near boiling by the time I was ready to put the jars into the canner. After that, I got my jar soaking in some hot vinegar water. The 10 pound of oranges is gonna give you 10 pint jars. After all of that, go ahead and start peeling your oranges. Very simple process. The only trick is to get as much white pith off the oranges as you can. And then I later went through and broke them all apart and so they were nice individual pieces. After that, it's time to get the syrup going. You are gonna raw pack the oranges and put a hot syrup on top. A special comment about syrup is that if you are raw packing your oranges, you must use a sugar syrup because the sugar will help with the preservation. If you just wanna use water, you have to use the hot pack method. So I despise running out of syrup in the middle of canning. So I actually went with my own little recipe of syrup. I did eight cups of water with three cups of sugar. Now I use just a non-GMO cane sugar. Now to make the syrup, just simply put the water and the sugar in a little sauce pot and heat it until all the sugar has dissolved, stirring frequently so nothing burns to the bottom of the pan. While the syrup is dissolving and heating up, go ahead and get your bands, your lids, and pull your jars out of the water. Now take your oranges and somewhat tightly pack them into your jars. You wanna leave a one inch headspace. Now my canner can only hold eight pint jars at a time, so that's what I did first. The next step is to pour the syrup over your oranges. With a ladle and a funnel, go ahead and pour your syrup over each jar, leaving a half inch headspace. After you have put your lids on finger tight, go ahead and slowly lower your jars into your canner. Your canner should be pretty hot by now and ready to get boiling. Now you wanna make sure that the water is only an inch over these jars, so it's gonna take forever to get it boiling. I had way too much water in there, to be honest. Go ahead and put your lid on. If you have a Presto canner like mine, you know it like, kinda clicks on like that. You water bath can these for 10 minutes. Now to do a second round of canning, all I did was just slide the canner right back over onto the heat. I have a big burner 
over on the right corner of the stove and I simply just turned the heat back on and did the same process. I boiled those two extra jars for 10 minutes, allowed them to cool for five minutes and then I pulled them out. One of the greatest things about water bath canning is that you can really do a lot of rounds of canning. You can do a lot of water bath canning in one day. Although this is all I did, just the 10 jars of mandarin oranges. Remember this was 10 pounds of raw fruit. So you can easily say that each jar holds about one pound of fruit. Remember to check your seals after 24 hours before putting them on the shelf and you are done. It is really that simple. All you need are your oranges, sugar, and water, and it's just a raw pack with a simple syrup on top. I hope this video helps and I will see you in the next one.